Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 181. I am Shane Thomas, you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. And also make sure to head over to CodeKarate.com, check out all the videos and articles along with the 5 Secrets to Becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja ebook. Now every once in a while we get a module that I think is really cool. We, we end up reviewing a lot of modules over here and we put together a lot of videos but sometimes we run into modules that we see that we will be using on a daily basis and this is one of those modules the file resumable upload module is going to be something that I can see a lot of Drupal developers needing and it's relatively new so we're gonna go through how that module is going to allow you to upload larger files upload multiple files at once and resume interrupted uploads so if an upload would stop for some reason you can resume it and pick up right where it left off the one thing about this module is it does use HTML5 so it's a pure HTML5 solution so if your browser does not support HTML5 it will just fall back to the standard file upload widget so we're going to go ahead and get started and show how this can be set up on a test site here. The first thing we're going to look at is a content type that I created that we're going to look through. I just called it large files. All I have is an image field and a file upload field. And we'll be using those fields to show how this uh, file resumable upload widget can actually work. So we're going to start by making sure we turn the module on. You'll have to, of course, download it. It's, it's actually very quick and easy to install and get working. After we enable the module, we're going to look at the permissions. You'll notice there's a permission to upload via file resumable upload. So if you want depending on the types of users you want. If you want authenticated users to be able to use it or even anonymous or if you have other roles you can set those permissions. And we will now go and look at our content type here. So we will go to our large files content type Whoops, wrong location here and we'll look at the fields and you'll notice that if I edit it's going to look pretty much the same as it always has just a standard image field same options but there is going to be this resumable upload settings we're going to go ahead and show how it looks currently before we turn on the resumable upload and it looks like a standard file upload field. It sets our limit at 100 megabytes. I also have this one, the file upload set at 10, just as an example. You can see it looks as we'd expect, but let's go ahead and turn on one of those file resumable upload options. So if we come back into our image field, we can go to the, resu the resumable upload settings section here and expand that. Here we can enable the resumable upload you can also then set a maximum upload size if you want and this can be actually larger than your server size limit or the limit that is set in your PHP maximum post and file upload sizes so this can be really cool if you're using or needing to upload large files maybe in a couple hundred megs and you know that you don't want to set the server to allow you to upload those larger files you can use this to kind of get around that we're going to save this one and we're also going to edit the file upload field and I set this as an example as a maximum file upload size of 10 and you saw that it showed up that way when we create tried to create the first one where we looked at the node add page if we set this let's go ahead and set this to 120 megabytes you'll notice that's larger than even our PHP limit and it's larger than the maximum upload size that we're setting here make sure we check the enable resumable upload checkbox and you'll notice I also am allowing three files to be uploaded here so if we click save 
now if we go in and add a large file give it a title you'll notice our file upload widget has changed this one is set to allow an unlimited amount of images so you can see there is no limitation here this one says you can drop up to three files here you can click the browse button just like you normally would or you can actually drag and drop items directly onto the page so for instance I have a couple pictures here I will just start to drop in and you will notice that they just begin to drop in this list and as soon as I click upload it'll start uploading these if I click cancel in the in mid upload and I re-click upload it'll pick up exactly where it left off so it's basically is able to keep track of where the upload left off and pick back up and continue to upload those files we can also do the same thing with some bigger zip files here you'll notice that one of these is actually over 100 megabytes which is what the PHP file upload setting is and you'll notice that this file will be able to be dropped in uh, whoops that's the wrong that's the image field if I go down to the file upload field and I drop it in you'll notice it's able to pull this in you can also pull in this one and even maybe this image file or this mp4 file so now if I click upload it's going to start this upload and this is of course going to take quite a bit of time just because these are much larger files so hopefully here in a second we will see it start to actually show some progress you'll see now it's showing that it's 3.3 percent so if we click cancel we could then remove one of these files click upload and you'll see that it picks back up where it left off because it was uploading all these files at the same time so even if I remove one and I continue the upload it'll still keep track of each individual file and how how much it had uploaded for from that file and I'm actually going to remove this one as well just to speed this up a little bit okay you'll see that we're just about uploaded and there it goes so now you can see our larger file has been uploaded so we're gonna go ahead and save and you'll notice that we have our files uploaded here our big video file that we uploaded is there and if I would have left those other ones of course and waited long enough those other larger files would have been there as well so that's really all there is to the file resumable upload module it's extremely simple to install and configure and it's really useful especially if you're using a shared hosting provider or a provider that is limiting your upload size to a set amount this is a good way to I guess get around that so you can upload some of those larger files that you may need on your Drupal website so go ahead and try it out I think it's going to be useful for a lot of people let me know what you think make sure to check out codecrowdy.com and we'll see you next time